started in mid uh, 2011, yeah. and then uh, it was supposed to complete, and then after that it didn't complete, then after that extended to September, and now uh, works have stopped. Uh, yeah. So what do you have to say to residents? Yeah, I um, I know that work has stopped. It's unforeseen circumstances that the contractor went uh, bust and uh, have cash flow problems. Uh, nevertheless, I would like to apologize to the residents that of all the inconvenience caused as well as for the store owners as well. I know that he has affected their business. Uh, Michael Palmer, before he left, he has worked closely with HDB as well as uh, DPM Teo Chi Hien has also uh, worked together with Michael Palmer and HDB to try to resolve this issue. Uh, I met with HDB just uh, two or three days ago. We tried to understand the issue and speed up the process where possible. I'm glad the HDB uh, during this time uh, actually uh, took the issue and uh, quickly looked for a uh, contractor and tried to tender out the project again and to have the rework done. Uh, and I'm, I'm glad to, to actually assure residents that the whole project right now will be completed uh, within six months from now, which means that by the middle of next year, it will be completed. And uh, I want to assure residents that during this time, we'll make sure that uh, we oversee this whole process closely and uh, pay very close attention to that. Can you also tell us, uh, because the previous day, at the end of October, Michael Palmer actually said that uh, it will take about three months to award a, an, an, uh, a contract mm. uh, attendant and so mm. on. And uh, you guys have managed to do it like in two months time. So, you know, uh, is there, uh, you know, there's a question of whether it's uh, things may be fast track and in the midst of fast tracking things, you know, might be slip short. Uh, uh, um. The tendering process itself uh, is administrative and I'm glad that HDB is able to expedite that and uh, it will be awarded uh, next month, which is January. Work starts immediately and uh, the contractor will have to review the whole site and uh, quickly get into the work itself. Uh, of course, we would like them to complete earlier than expected, but uh, we want to ensure that uh, resident safety inconvenience to residents are all be lessened and also safety to the workers as well just to make sure that even if we complete the project it has to be of a, of a quality uh, that would not endanger the place or the residents in the longer term so uh, we don't want any slip shot or shortcuts just because we want to speed up the work but we are very confident and uh, HGB have also assured us that it will be completed in six months uh, completely uh, and also safely I think that's the most important mm. okay. and also can you tell us Uh, you know, as well as your own work because you're acting uh, MP, right? Yeah. Um, it, it's not easy. It's not easy to balance uh, constituency of both sides uh, and their activities for on both ends as well. Uh, today, what I tried to do was to keep a balance and find a balance point uh, somewhere. Uh, as an example, um, over the weekend for activities, I would try to schedule all the activities for one constituency on a particular day, say Saturday, and the other constituency on a Sunday. So today is Sunday, I'm at Bongo East. I've started early this morning, walk around uh, the Riverville Plaza and also some of the estates. So that's how uh, I would have done the same in my constituency the previous day. For the Meet the People session, I'll also do the same. On Mondays, I'll be meeting residents of Pongo Central, and on Tuesdays, I'll meet the residents of Pongo East. Um, well, it's double work, but uh, I think it's all worth it because someone has got to make sure that the needs of residents are met and some of the outstanding uh, issues of the residents are also being taken care of. I think um, uh, what I'm most worried is that uh, some of those who are in urgent need are not met off, and I want to make sure that I do my very best uh, to make sure no one falls through the crack. Have you spoken to Mr. Palmer since uh, covering you know, for this work? Um, yeah, we have communicated because uh, uh, we wanted to share some uh, information and ideas. And, uh, and I realised that he really do care for the community a lot, especially his residents. And uh, he also reminded me of some of the outstanding issues of certain residents uh, that I should really uh, look into it. Michael has really laid a very good foundation and uh, he has got a very strong team of grassroots leaders and he has worked closely with the staff here. Uh, so much so that it wasn't too difficult for me to just come in and uh, understand the situation today. They are all on track and everybody is so knowledgeable. Um, I think uh, Michael has done a great job. I'm trying to carry on the good work that he has done so far in the community. So he's open to you, you know, contacting him in the future you know, for any follow-ups on handover? I think I think it's important for me to 
uh, to do a lot more work that is to hands-on uh, in this constituency. Uh, most importantly, to spend enough time on the ground. And I've spent, uh, since I've taken over, almost, almost every day in this constituency, walking about by myself and uh, getting a sense of what's happening, talking to residents. Um, I think for Michael, uh, he has to move on from here, and I think uh, he also needs the space. I try not to disturb him, uh, and I think uh, as a friend, uh, as a close friend, and as a good colleague, uh, I should do my part to help him move on with his life. How have your Congo Central residents, uh, you know, how have they shown their concern for you since you have to do double uh, duty? Oh. Um, <coughs> Pongo, so far, uh, when I, when I walk around Pongo Central the last two days, as well as Pongo East as well, uh, some of them were commenting that I lost weight and uh, whether I've been too busy and uh, they were worried for me. Some of them uh, say that I, whether they can boil herbal soup for me. I, I mean, they have been very kind um, and uh, very understanding. Uh, uh, some, of course, asked me how will I have time for two constituency. I, I explained to them that I try to balance my time. Of course, uh, there will be some trade-off somewhere, uh, whether it's my own personal time or family time, or whether it's uh, some of the other work that I have to do. But uh, I guess uh, most of my own time, uh, I guess it will be lesser now, uh, because you have to schedule uh, days for both constituency. Uh, but I want to assure residents that uh, no matter what, I'll do my very best especially for the urgent needs and uh, uh, for those needy families and individuals. I want to make sure that we can take care of them. Most importantly, I, I do not want to let uh, the residents of Pongo Central and Pongo East down. I do my very best to help them and to serve them. And how is your family you know, coping with this double duty that you have to grapple with now? Uh, my, uh, my family has been very supportive. Uh, and of course my children see less of me now uh, they already saw less of me in the past but they see even less of me now so, uh, but they understand uh, and uh, they are very supportive and, and they know that uh, I will have less time for them uh, and some, of my, some of them give me some ideas how to balance my time such, uh, as? such as uh, uh, sleep less <laughs> or uh, and, uh, but I would say that um, most of them are more worried about my health, uh, which I think uh, it's fine. I still uh, keep my workout every day. And I uh, just want to share residents, there's so many residents since you brought up the fact that I keep losing weight. I, I didn't lose weight, I still maintain the same weight. Uh, I take it positively that maybe I look a bit more toned. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Coming back to the family issues, because I hear yeah. from them that because it's been all going for Yes, time, yeah. Since yeah. the authorities are not really acting yeah. up that fast. So, so I have to find out where is the bottleneck. And um, before I say when we can do it, uh, I'm, I'm close to resolving some of these things. And uh, uh, just like Riverview Plaza, people are not sure. But we find out the bottleneck, we know where it is, we resolve and overcome the issue. Now we can give resident assurance in six months' time, I'm going to complete it. Same for this LTA issue, not LTA issue, same for the road, road issues that we have work with LTA. And I'm, I'm quite confident. I'm quite confident uh, I can give uh, residents some answer very soon. Uh, I just seek the residents' uh, patience and support. Uh, uh, that uh, Give me some time, I'll, but I'll resolve it.